think they'll tell me they didn't grease it. I think they'll admit it. Disgusting, man. It's absolutely disgusting. Doesn't matter how much you pay them, how much you do for them, what you buy for them. It's just disgusting. through that much coffee that's look at all the ice has melted it's been such a busy day zach um i think we will go down to broad street uh you were out last week and we started that big three acre demo job hmm. for uh tutor builds out of nashville i think what we'll do is we'll just go down check on air on get some interviews down there uh, we don't have any before big photos so try to catch some content before it gets too far gone Interview those guys, check on the equipment. Um, I think JR, our new photography guy, a good friend of mine, is going to come down and help us film. So we'll interview him and get some of his footage going. And maybe a couple other site visits. I'm trying to think maybe we go see Ham Road. But with Brad in Greenville, Tennessee, uh, three hours away, I think we'll circle around, check on some jobs, just let you go with me and uh, check it on that way. All right, perfect. Cool. See you there. <laughs> Here we are. They are back yet or just us? Just us, I believe, right now. I'm all kinds of jacked, but these things are dirty. It is bright out, guys. I heard the other day and I was like squinting and stuff, and I was like, bringing the coasters. <laughs> you got to. I don't even wear sunglasses, but man, this is. Well, that's about better. Let's walk around. Let's do it. sliding behind that camera. So we'll take these big foundations and we'll munch these with that big fix muncher. And then for the 328, I've got a hydraulic muncher that's a shear uh, and a muncher combined. It rotates, big cat processor, but I don't think I'll bring it here. I think I'm just gonna run that one jaw. I mean, we've almost got the concrete done. More of a crushing thing now. Probably bring the other crusher out here and run through some with the screen. Um, this is starting to get some rebar in it. So all this heavy rebar is going to get pulled out by that magnet. Hopefully we don't ruin another belt. Uh, but you can see it does a pretty good job of pulling the metal out. So 100% going to be reused on this project. Nothing's going to leave. We'll use every bit of it back on the job. So save the client a lot of money because all of our utilities had no rock in the number. We're just charging them for this then using this back on the job. So pretty, uh, pretty exciting. Let's go check on Larry and Jason see how they're doing and uh, hopefully they'll be uh, everything slabbed out today. They still got uh, three or four hours.
think they'll tell me they didn't grease it. I think they'll admit it. Does it sound like it's not greased? Wow, let's just see. There you won't lie to me. There you won't lie to me. <laughs> Gotta film Larry's bucket, it's looking a little thin. You can see the rock through it on the bottom. Let's go ahead this thing. That's our demo bucket. It's about to be our scrap bucket if we ain't careful. Can we get those things greased this morning? I know, I can tell. I saw it from the car. I know you don't think I can tell, but tell me why we're pulling concrete up without greasing the machines. I'll give you a thousand dollars. A why? I know a why. I mean, those booms are slopping around. Both of them are clacking. That boom's moving two inches left to right. <coughs> we gotta grease every day when you're demo. We know that. The second part of that is, if I push you for time, you can't do everything right. But if I give you all the time and put four people out here and crew trucks and stuff then what I've got to get back is that quality and taking care of stuff. Yeah. And you know how I am. If the first hour in T-sheets is service equipment, blue filters out, I never, yeah. I don't call anybody till 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's I expect it. I mean, it's the only way to keep these million dollar machines running, is take care of them. We can't just come out here and work them every day, and not take care of them. I can't spend enough money to fix the problems around here. This is crazy. All right, appreciate you. See you. Oh yeah. Be prepared. So what are you doing here? Trying to remove some scales. So this used to be a water treatment plant. I'm sure you already know that. But the scales that would dry would cross to get their incoming weight and their outgoing weight. So we're gonna try to use one as a bridge and uh, at the farm and then scrap the rest of them. I'm trying to get it out without completely destroying it and everything else. Oh, nice. We'll see how it goes. So I got a few more things gotta rig up and start pulling the joker out. Yep. These things are huge. Okay, nice, nice.
little blue. We're taking four weighing scales all the way up to the form. I'm in this huge Ram truck. If I gotta run the red lights, I gotta run the red lights. That's what I'm here at. So stay tuned, baby. story when I was actually following Grayson up we ran into three yellow lights right off rip he kind of ran them I'm supposed to be following so I kind of just stop and I, I let him turn to green the good driver I am he calls me after the third one it was like bro you have to follow behind me he's like screw those red lights so I was like okay but anyways we made it up to the farm it really needs a bridge where it's talking about I'll show you a clip of it but enough of that, let's get back to the job site. I know they're finishing up phase one and let's see what it looks like with all the concrete stripped. Looks like just about all the concrete's up now. Most of them. We gotta get this slab and I think there's a little more around back. Getting close. Getting close. <laughs> 